hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today we are going to do dynamic source overload net okay usually what happens when we do netting in fortigate firewall we translate all our internal private ip address to this ip address which is configured on the wan side port okay of the fortigate firewall so what if i don't want the internal private ip address to get translated to this wan side ip address wan side public ip address so what we can do we can define a specific range in the same subnet so that that internal ip address can dynamically get translated to into that specific range of that public ip addresses okay let's get started so what i've done i have configured this pc in the range of 10.1.1.0/24 subnet okay and uh, now i'll configure the fortigate firewall so this is the port 2 which is the lan side interface and this is the port 1 okay so its configuration is very simple we have to go into the firewall policy So this was if if you if you have watched my earlier video, this is uh, similar to PAT. Okay, so we have to do dynamic source net now. So we can select use dynamic IP pool. I'll create a new pool now. Okay, I'll uh, see LAN to WAN. And here there are total four options for dynamically translating the private IP address to public IP address. In the upcoming video, I will explain you these IP uh, these uh, IP schemes as well. But today we will discuss only overload that. Okay. So I will give a range. Actually, we are having an already created LAN in uh, the policies, so I'll just show you. So you have to, you know, just uh, click on the overload, and you have to, uh, you know, uh, define the public external IP address range. So I have given this 192.168.0.11 till 15. Okay, and click on OK. So I we have to select the LAN option. Okay. And that's all. We are done with the dynamic source overload net. Now I will show you the communication flow. So IP address of this system is 10.1.1.2. Okay. I'll access any random website for say Flipkart. So actually we are able to reach the website I will yeah see I will see uh, show you how the NAT translation is happening on the FortiGet firewall So this is the command 
so I told you its the IP address is 10.1.1.2 okay and it is getting translated to 192.168.0.50 okay now what I'll do I'll uh, try to you know ping the global DNS from the another PC so IP address for this PC is 10.1.1.3 We are able to reach the global DNS. Now we will see the logs for this uh, PC as well. Yeah. You guys can see 10.1.1.3 is getting translated to 192.168.0.11. So that's all about uh, dynamic source over overload NAT. You can dynamically see map the internal private IP address to the external uh, public IP address range and you can you know uh, exclude the WAN side port IP address from getting used as a NAT public IP address so that's all that's all for this video hope you guys will have liked this video stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you